Today we're asking a very simple question. What is the technology out there that will help our students who are not necessarily the best readers become more effective readers? So let's imagine that I'm a student. I have been assigned uh, to read this fable. If I'm not a struggling reader, that's not a hard task. Though if I am a student who has a problem decoding words or comprehending chunks of text, it might be a little bit hard for me. Uh, what I can do with this technology is simply select a text and click help me read this. This will open up an immersive reader. What I can do then is basically adjust the text, change the font size, change the background maybe. Uh, then I can read the text in three lines or I can play back the text to myself. There was once a countryman who possessed the most wonderful goose. If I don't want to listen to the text, I can just concentrate and read one line at a time like this. When it comes to installation process, uh, first thing you need to do is make sure that you are operating from the Google Chrome web browser. Next thing we need to do is go to the Chrome web store. This is where we are going to get the extension from. The extension we are looking for is called Immersive Reader. That's the name of the extension. Use Immersive Reader on websites on official. Once we click on this extension, next thing, let's click on Add to Chrome. Let's click on Add Extension. If you want to make sure that the extension has been installed, simply click on this icon in the top right corner and you should see Use Immersive Reader extension there. So once you have a text that you want Immersive Reader help you read, uh, simply select the text, click on Help Me Read This. A new window will be opened with the Immersive Reader interface. There'll be a quick tutorial here. Let's just skip it. From here, there are a couple of settings I personally prefer. I go to Voice Settings and decrease the speed to 0.5 or 0.75. Next thing, I change the font a little bit, decrease the font to about 28 points. I prefer the black background. I think that makes the uh, reading easier. I normally skip the grammar options and move on to reading preferences. From here, it's up to you whether to decide just one line or three lines. Three lines look better to me. Uh, these are my preferred settings. Uh, so from here, you can either click play or losing theirs and blaming it on you. Uh, you can start from anywhere in the text. If I click on if and start to play from here, the text will be played back from the very beginning. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs. And or you can click anywhere in the text and the, the playback will start from there. Trust yourself when all men doubt you. So this is how the extension works when you are working with the web site, so text that is located on the website. Uh, when it comes to the Google Doc, it becomes a little bit trickier because if you are on a Google Doc and you right click, you won't really see help me read this button. What you can do, however, the work around it is publish the Google Doc to the web. And uh, let me quickly show you how it's done. First thing we need to do is click on file, then publish to the web. We will then need to click on link, click on publishing content. Make sure that you select the desired restriction settings. If this one is ticked, then only students from my organization or kind of the my school will be able to access this text. If I untick that, that anyone will be able to read this text if I share it with them. So once I've done that, I'm going to click Publish, click OK one more time. I'm going to select this link, copy it and paste it in the new tab. This will transfer your Google Doc into the web page. And if I select the text now and right click, you'll see I now have Help Me Read This, which will transfer this text into the Immersive Reader text where you will be able to do all the things that I've demonstrated previously. When it comes to other formats, you might be wondering what if I have a PDF or what if I have something that is not on the web. And for these purposes, I highly recommend Natural Reader. This is another text-to-speech solution 
that you will install on your computer. See, there's a software button here where you can install it either on Mac or Windows, and then you will work with files that are on your computer, not necessarily on the web. What we've done today is we've looked at some of the technology, a tool that can help students become more effective readers if they are struggling in taking chunks of text. Uh, immersive Reader and Natural Reader are two solutions that I can recommend that I work with and that I know work for students and for teachers. Thank you for taking your time to check out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.